y'all, it's Tennessee Nikki, and today I'm coming to you with, um, it's called Hamburger Potato Casserole, and it was inspired by my Aunt Tiny. So I'm giving shouts out to my Aunt Tiny. And this recipe calls for ground beef, or you can use ground turkey. I'm using two pounds of ground beef, a half of onion, I'm using a teaspoon of garlic, uh, two teaspoons of flour, a cup of milk, and I'm using two cream of mushroom soups and some shredded cheese. And I, I sliced up some potatoes. Can you see that over there? And you can use whatever seasons you want to use. I'm using seasoned salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and I'm using some gourmet hamburger seasoning. Okay, let's get started. How y'all doing today? Let's get this party started. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put that ground beef in there. And this is a quick little meal you can make for your family through the weekday. Let's go ahead and get this started. Go ahead and ground this beef up. And I used about six uh, potatoes in this uh, recipe and just slice those up and be careful not to overcook the potatoes. I did a little bit, so it's still edible. So <laughs> just try to watch it because you don't want to make it like mashed potatoes. So and I'm going ahead and make this because my cousin been asking me to make this like every week. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this so she can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my seasons in. I'm gonna start with my uh, gourmet burger. Put some of that in there. And I don't have a measurement for it, just whatever you, you wanna put in there. Some people don't like as much seasons, but I do. Put you some seasoned salt. So you want that hamburger to taste very flavorful. Let's put some garlic powder. I love garlic. We're gonna put some onion powder. Last but not least, we're gonna put some black pepper in that thing. Okay. Get this ground beef brown and brown. We like it brown, guys. Let's get this thing brown. We don't want no pink because, you know, it's too much stuff going on. We got to make sure this stuff is cooked all the way. Get that good and browned up. Yeah, when I say this is really good, this is really good. And it's fast. Only thing is not as fast if you cutting up the potatoes. If you don't like cutting up potatoes, that's the only thing that's time consuming. But other than that, it's quick. Because you're only boiling it for about, if you got your water already to a good boil, it's like five or six minutes. And like I said, you gotta watch it. Cause it, I mean, since you're slicing it, let me show you how it looks. Since you're slicing it about that thin, it's easy to boil it too long and it can crumble up on you. But that's okay. It's, if you if it do it on you, just go ahead and still put it in that casserole dish twist because it's still gonna taste good. Go ahead and ground that up. And we're gonna go ahead and start throwing these onions in there. I love some onions. Put that onions in there. Like I said, it's about a half of an onion. I like to put a little season on my on my veggies too. Just put a little season. 
little seasoned salt on there a little bit. Y'all so pretty today. It's a little cool, but it's okay. It reminds you of like a little fall day. But the sun is out. We still alive. You know, it's a beautiful day. It's Saturday. It's a lot of people out today, though. I didn't think there was going to be that many people out. Went to the little store today, and there was a lot of people out early. A lot of people fishing and stuff. Do y'all fish? I like to fish. I always beat my husband in fishing. Get that, get some of them onions off in there. I like to put my garlic in uh, when the meat is like done because the garlic has a tendency of burning real fast. So I like to put that in last. My son loves the garlic. He puts garlic in everything. He put in his eggs. I don't like garlic in my eggs. Comment below if y'all like garlic in y'all eggs. That thing is nasty. Yeah, you can say good and brown. Ooh, it smells so good. See y'all, it's gonna take longer. Oh, it's almost all the brown. Okay guys, I'm gonna come right back with you. I'm gonna go ahead and finish browning this meat all the way and I'm gonna drain the grease and, uh, and I'll be right back with you, okay? Be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. Okay, now I'm gonna put the garlic in there. Put the garlic in. Let that cook up a little bit. I wish I could smell this. Oh, your girl be in here. Throw it down. Okay. The next step, y'all. Y'all listening? Are y'all listening? Okay, let's put two teaspoons of flour. Not self rising flour, sis. Just regular flour, all purpose. Throw that in there. This is going to make it kind of like a gravy like. And we're going to cook that for about two minutes because we don't want no flour taste in this. So you want to cook that for about two minutes. Two to three minutes. Just stir. Get that in there. Get that in there good. Get that meat good and chopped up fine. Should be good. Two minutes, sis. That's long enough. Okay, we're gonna pour one cup of milk in. Okay, we're gonna stir that in, and we're gonna let that soak on off in there. milk off in there. We're trying to get that good gravy for that potato casserole. That hamburger potato casserole. 
Y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all gonna be thanking your sis. But what y'all can do to thank me, hit that like button. Subscribe to your girl. I mean, what else is it to do? You know? Make sure y'all hit that bell to be notified because, you know, you won't, you won't know I put another video out unless you hit that bell. Hit that bell. Click that all button. Okay, we want that milk to get off in there real good. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay, next up, that creamy mushroom soup. I like to use two. You can use one, but I like to use two. You get that spoon. Think you don't like caramel mushroom soup? Trust me, just try it. Try it, girl. You were all like, ooh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> but they'll lose enough. Let's open this other tin. Y'all know that took that to a whole nother level. For real. Y'all know that took that to a whole nother level. Just let that simmer. Let that simmer for about, I say about six minutes. And I'm gonna be right back and we're gonna be, when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to put it in that casserole dish with the potatoes. And we're gonna go on and sum this thing on up, girl. I'll be right back. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Okay, we're gonna get ready to put this casserole together. I already did the first layer, and I like to put a little pepper and seasoned salt on my potatoes, you know, because it tastes kind of bland without it. So I just sprinkle a little uh, seasoned salt and pepper on the base of it. And we're gonna go ahead and start putting this casserole together. And you just go ahead and put that meat sauce on there. Smooth it on out. Ooh, this is so good, y'all. I can't wait till y'all try it. Y'all can make this for Sunday dinner. Because today's Saturday. I'm showing y'all how to make it today. So, throw you some corn on the cob with it and some cornbread. And you good. Or either a salad or something like that. Or something green. And you good. That's the whole meal.
Okay, got this smoothed out. And we're gonna use some shredded cheese. I'm going to have this open. Get a knife. Okay. I'm going to spread this shredded cheese on there. This extra sharp cheddar that I got. Put that on there. Spread it out. And I did wash my my hands, guys. I did, I did. Several times. Okay. Put a little more on there. Okay. Then we're gonna layer it again. Put the potatoes on there. And the potatoes don't have to be cut perfect. Let's cut them things. Cause you ain't gonna be able to tell once everything started melting together. Cause mine started breaking because like I said, try not to cook them too long. But if you ain't watching it, it will cook very fast, so. And another trick is, uh, once you finish boiling these potatoes, uh, run uh, when it's in your little strainer, uh, go ahead and run cold water over the potatoes because you want to stop it from cooking. Because if you just sit it in a bowl, it's going to keep cooking. It's really going to mash up. So make sure you run cold water over your potatoes. So I can stop that cooking process. Let's change this out. Kind of like a little puzzle, y'all. Get that together like that. Bam. Then we're going we're gonna to put some more season on top. Let me turn this off. Go ahead. Put some little season on them potatoes. On them potatoes. A little gently. And then put some little pepper on it. All right. Okay. Then we're going to put the final stage of the meat sauce on. And go ahead and start preheating your oven, girls and guys, to 350. And we're going to uh we're going to cook this for like uh 25 to 30 minutes. Smooth out. That's my oven preheating right there, that sound. So it's ready to go and make this greatness. Get it off in there. Okay, get them off of them corners. I don't want them corners to feel lonely. Okay. There's a bit. Bam. 
perfect amount. Okay. I'm gonna throw the rest of this cheese on now. I'm gonna uh, open up another bag too. This might not be enough. I want the grand finale. So I'm using um two, uh, I'm using four cups of shredded cheese. And this is uh just regular sharp cheese. The first one was extra sharp. And then I'm going to put this in the oven uh, for uh, 25 to 30 minutes when the cheese like is good and bubbly on top. And we're going to take it out and I'm going to plate it up and show you how it looks. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back. Okay, this is the plated version of the hamburger potato casserole. It took about 20 minutes in the oven. And uh, that's it. I mean, it was simple as that. And it's so flavorful. But, um, yeah, just put it in the oven until the cheese melts really good because it's basically already done because the potatoes was boiled, your hamburger meat is done. So you're really just waiting for the cheese to marinate off in there. So I, it took about 20 minutes. And that's it, guys. And if you like this content, content, please just like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Be safe. Bye-bye.